Growing up in Trelawney, Jamaica, basketball wasn't even on the forefront of 19-year-old Kenton Facey's mind. With sports like track and soccer more prevalent in Jamaica, the 6'9 power forward didn't even consider playing hoops until he stumbled across a basketball court in high school. One evening after, uh, after school, I was walking around the basketball court and uh, the basketball coach just asked me if I wanted to play some basketball. I just started to, to just the past time and then I started taking it seriously, started to fall in love with it. As Facey's skills and love for the game were starting to grow, he attended the annual Star Search basketball camp playing in front of U.S. coaches and scouts. It was there he met a man by the name of Stephen Johnston who presented Facey with a life-changing offer. Well, every year we throw a camp. We've had over 100 young people come up to the United States for high school and college through athletic scholarships. I saw some talent in him, and uh, I asked him if he wanted to get an opportunity to come here in the States, and of course he jumped on. And the opportunity to, to further my education with, with, without the financial uh, strain that it will have on my, me and my family back in Jamaica, that was definitely the most exciting part of it. Two years ago, Facey moved in with some host parents on Long Island and began school at Long Island Lutheran High. At Lou High, he continued to develop and ultimately excel as a player. Well, when Kenton first you know, came to our school, his knowledge of the game was very limited. You know, he's now a very mentally skilled player. He provides a post presence for us that a lot of high school teams lack, and he, you know, he totally changes the way we play. There's no doubt about it. After impressing scouts this past July at the LeBron James Skills Academy, college scholarship offers started to come. But since arriving in the States, there was only one college face he had his eyes on, the University of Connecticut. I think that all started out the first year I came here, UConn happened to win the, the championship that year. So I started paying attention to them. And from then on, I started developing that dream that I wanted to play there. After a visit to UConn back in August, it didn't take long for Facey to make his decision. That night after his trip to stores, he signed his letter of intent to play college basketball for the Huskies. We just love his relentless motor. He's a tireless runner and he's a great person. I love for him to be in a UConn jersey and I'm gonna get my dream come true. His story is nowhere near done. It's gonna be uh, exciting at UConn and then you know, wherever he, he goes after that, I think he'll be playing basketball for a long time. If he would have told me back in Jamaica that this was going to happen this fast right now, I probably would have laughed at you. I know what I got to do to get to the next level. I know I'm nowhere near where I want to be.